What are some weird things Americans do that are considered weird or taboo in your country? Call someone out for rudeness in public. In the UK we just glare and tut until we develop a stomach ulcer from the built up stress. Hanging on in quiet desperation is the English way. I'm quite late, but I'm a European who just experienced Mardi Gras. A float went by that had the navy on it and everyone started chanting USA. I joined in for the craic and it was great fun. My American friend apologized to me after, and it was only then that I realized he probably saw it as me having to deny my nationality in a crowd, whereas I just saw it as a bit of fun drunken chanting. I have lived in both Finland and the USA. Once I woke up in the middle of the day after a house party, I got up and found peanut butter in a cabinet and jam in the fridge. As I started making a class PB and J the other people in the house surrounded me and gave me a face of confusion. Someone asked me wait, you are really going to eat that? I guess people in Finland do not eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They all thought the idea was gross. I say they're missing out. The amount of ad breaks you lot have during TV shows is ridiculous. I remember when I was on holiday in the US and was watching an episode of The Simpsons. It had the normal ad break in the middle then came back on. The show ended and went to another super long ad break for it to come back on to just show the credits. Calling colored people African American. Nobody here says African Canadian. I met some Americans a few years ago in France and was surprised by their warm and easy given invitations to come by next time I would visit the US. Very guest friendly. Never used any of those invitations though. I was not sure they meant it or if the invitations were merely a friendly gesture. In Holland invitations are not that given that easy. At first I thought it was very weird that when men and women said hello, they shook hands or waved at each other. Where I'm from we say hello cheek to cheek. It took me a while to get used to. I tried this in high school. Did not go over too well. Especially with other guys. Endless, costly political campaigning. In Canada campaigns are typically 1-2 months. With strict spending limits. In New Zealand people barely ever seem to ask questions ask the lecturers questions. In my engineering class our lecturer asked who wanted to be engineers and nobody raised their hand. Asking how are you after meeting someone. In Germany it's never spoken. Because I guess we don't care how you are. Oh we don't actually care either. It's just a thing to say. The sheer number of different churches and Christian denominations. Here in Ireland we have two churches. Catholic and Protestant. A lot of those are Americanized names for Protestant churches in Europe. If you take the Anglican church for example. After the revolution, it wasn't great to have the same name as the church led by the guy you just fought a war against for over a decade, so they changed it to Episcopal. I kissed my so in her home country of the Philippines in front of the elders big no no, it was just a peck too. Haha <laughs> yeah, PDA is kinda frowned upon by older traditional Filipinos. I hugged my boyfriend outside of my house once when I was 17 and my mom told me now all the neighbors know your W. Please stop using different narrators for David Attenborough documentaries. This is just wrong. Agreed. Lobbying. It's strictly forbidden in my country for political parties to receive funding from any corporation. Every political party is funded by the state itself based on the amount of votes it received in the latest election. Actually, here, lobbying is like a curse word that parties throw at each other from time to time as like the word treason. I can't really wrap my head around how political campaigns receive huge amounts of donations from corporations and it is justified in the US. Apparently sweet tea is only in the states, and mainly in the southern states. I'm not sure how to describe it but sweet tea in the south definitely tastes different than iced tea or other teas I've had. It's just a particular kind I think but the way it's made and served makes it taste different. I had some at my friend's house down south and it was the best thing ever. The canned sweet tea you can buy doesn't taste remotely close. Openly tell you jokes. German. Lawyers advertising. When I was in Louisiana I remember an ad that was something like that. Have you been bite by an alligator? We can help you get in reparation. I thought it was hilarious. I'm in law school and here in Brazil lawyers are very serious and formal. Not this mediatic thing. 
American living in Australia here. In Australia when you don't understand what someone says, it is rude to say what. You should say pardon. Saying what is too direct or confrontational or something. Most of the time people won't say anything. But my girlfriend said one said what to her 19 year old boss. And her boss said who are you to say what to any. I try really hard to remember to say pardon but sometimes I get too focused on trying to understand the content of what people are saying. And it is easy to let habit override and let a what slip out. For any Australians reading this, please know that in the US saying what neither polite or impolite, it is about as common as saying hello. And saying pardon all the time in the US would be a little bit weird. Tip the bartender at every order. Whilst I understand why and how it works in the UK we tip when we receive good service giving it a sense that they've earned it, whereas in the USA it's custom to tip on every drink as the wages are lower and the staff rely on tips to bump up the wage earned. Also in a crowded bar, you are more likely to get quick service the next time if you tip last time. Advertisements for medicine. I watched very little TV in my time in the US. But, every other advertisement seemed to be for some kind of medicine. Seriously, if I'm sick, I'll go see a doctor who'll give me what I need. I think Americans just think I have pain here. Must get brand name drug to solve the pain. And the massive list of side effects they have to tell you during the advert too. Then there's the bad substance adverts too. Don't get them in the UK. The lack of annual leave, vacation time, from work. My uncle recently moved to the UK from the states and nearly passed out when he realized I get around 35 days holiday a year. In the UK, by law, everyone who works full time, 5 days a week, is entitled to a minimum of 28 days paid leave a year, including bank holidays. I'm from Denmark and was recently in the US. I was 99% sure I was gonna die a horrible horrible death when someone sat next to me on the bus even though there was lots of seats open. The world needs to know, we don't like people in Denmark. Saving up for, and paying your children's college tuition. Here in New Zealand, there's a thing called study link, which is basically a government run interest free student loan that you automatically start paying back out of your paycheck when you graduate and earn over a certain threshold. Not eating your national animal. Kangaroos are bloody delicious. I wouldn't say it's weird at all, but patriotism is very different. In a lot of European countries, if you fly your country's flag at any time other than during the World Cup, it has a stigma of being associated with fascists and racists. Whereas in the US, I've driven down many streets and see the US flag hanging from purpose-built flagpoles built into a house. I guess an equivalent in the US is the confederate flag maybe? Tipping in general is taboo in Japan. They see it as an insult. Making zip codes a mandatory field on sites that sell internationally. Question to non-Americans that find it weird that Americans are nice and talk to strangers regularly. About a month ago my battery died in my car when I was at a local hardware store. It took me asking two people to find someone who would jump my car off. The man then insisted he follow me to the nearest auto parts store, about 3 miles away, to make sure I don't break down on the way. Would this be considered weird in your country? An interesting observation for me is that American politeness is considered more friendly and outgoing while European politeness is based on respecting other space and privacy. Yet Americans greet at a distance through waves or handshakes and Europeans greet cheek to cheek. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are rare outside the US. Having fake, canned, over the top laughter in your TV shows, I think you know when something's funny without having to be prompted to laugh. A lot of Americans hate that too. Not getting paid maternity paternity leave. I know some employers pay leave, but where I come from all employers have to. It's simply the law. I can't imagine how expensive it can be for you to have kids. I guess you also have to pay for the medical cost if you don't have insurance. As an outside observer, the US seems to hold personal responsibility as a paramount virtue. While in the countries I've lived social responsibility is the priority. It's a mindset that has an impact on everything from legislation all the way down to common courtesy. California is not representative of the rest of the US. The California that the media shows isn't even representative of California. 
I'm an American and I live in Japan and one habit I had to break quickly was my habit of pointing with my chopsticks. Sorry. Being a patriot, it is easily mixed up with the wrong and dangerous kind of nationalism in the country I live in, the Netherlands. The often staunch patriotism is a tad foreign to someone living in Germany. Talking about work asking what a person does for a living in great detail at a social function party. I think this is in part due to America being such a workaholic country. Work tends to be much more ingrained on the brain. When I'm out or at a party to unwind, the last thing I want to talk about is anything related to work. It's such a cool joy. Ask me about what movies I've seen or where I traveled to, not what my daily work routine entails. When I was living in America for a short while, it'd be unbearable going to parties where the bulk of the people I talked to would always ask right off the bat what I do for work and would want to know more about it. How has there not be legislation in America for people to be entitled to a large amount of holiday time? You lot are overworked. When my dad is watching a typical American TV show, he makes gagging faces when people are acting so extremely nice. He doesn't mind people being nice of course, but in my country we are suspicious when people are that nice. This is hilarious because people usually act rude in those shows. Sporting competitions just stop to allow ads to be played on the TV coverage. Freakishly weird. Everywhere else the sports just get played and the ads have to work around the sport. I realized this through my girlfriend the other day, but overhearing a convo is bad where she's from. She's from Southeastern Asia, and they just flat out ignore things they overhear from what I gather. To then start talking about it, or use it as a chance to talk to someone is even worse. But apparently it's something Americans do so offhandedly, and totally baffles her. Guys asking out girls in random places like shops, on the street, that's just creepy here. It's not particularly classy here either, unless you're exceedingly smooth. Not likely. You strike up a conversation and then get her phone number Facebook. You talk a bit via that, ask out via that, and it gives her the space to not be put on the spot and can say no if she wants. In China, if you're handing something to someone who are your elder, people a generation or two above you, teacher, boss, etc., you do it with two hands. It's disrespectful to just hand it off with one hand. Although at home, it could be more casual. When I'm interacting with Asians in the US, I still make sure to do that. Talk to random strangers. Not taboo, per se, but we Brits would never consider driving two hours for lunch. There would have to be family or nookie involved to make that journey in the first place. Or if in Norfolk, both at the same time. And we'd still be looking for a hotel for the night, drive back the same day, don't be daft. This one occurred to me whilst working in Boston for 18 months. A friend lives in Hartford, CT and we decided to meet up for lunch halfway. I'd obviously been there long enough to think it no big thing. D. Americans think a hundred years is old. Europeans think a hundred miles is far. Laws changing drastically between states. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.